Now, you might think that when it comes to randomness, it should be as easy as flipping a coin, right? But trust me when I tell you that when it comes to the blockchain, you shouldn't trust anyone, not even me, and that you should only trust a verifiable randomness function. A lot of people, unfortunately, use randomness that might look something like this. Well, instead, we want to head over to docs.chain.link, get a random number. We can just go ahead and open this up in Remix. And now we have a full working example of how to get a random number. We're going to go to vrf.chain.link. We're going to create a new subscription. Once the subscription is created, we can go ahead and add funds and rink B link. We'll go ahead and add funds. And in here, we get our subscription ID. And back in the code given to us, that's what we're going to stick in for our constructor. We're going to go to deploy. We're going to paste our subscription ID. And then we're going to go ahead and deploy this. Once we get our contract, we copy the contract address. We go back over to the VRF consumer. We paste it in there. We hit add consumer. Once the consumer has been added, we come back over to Remix. We hit request random words. We wait for two transactions to occur. And then after a delay, we'll see we get a mathematically random number in our smart contract.